Hello students, how are you all? Welcome to Affairs Cloud, Learn to Lead. My name is Vikas Rana. So students, we have an app by the name Careers Cloud which you can go and download through the Play Store for Android phones. Once you have downloaded and logged in with your Gmail ID, you will be transferred to your home page where you can see all the courses that are offered by us. Once you have purchased the course, you can see your courses in the My Course section. But why our courses are so better? Why we think we provide you one of the best content? Because we provide you content on daily basis. In the daily basis, we provide you current affairs with 20 questions quiz as well as the PDF of the current affairs of daily. Then similarly for weekly, on weekly basis, we provide you current affairs PDF as well as a 50 questions quiz that will help you to revise all the content that you have learned. Then on monthly basis also, we provide you top 100 current affair questions PDF that will be the compiled PDF of the 100 questions of that particular month that will be very helpful for you. And not just this friends, we provide you in English as well as in Hindi too. So both English and Hindi students can enjoy our courses. Apart from this friends, we also provide you banking related question answers, the banking related MCQ questions, the quizzes that will help you prepare for the bank exams. Not just that friends, we provide you a new way of learning that is your infotainment infographics that is a different and interesting way of learning. Apart from this, we cover 20 topic wise current affairs. These topics are important such as apps portals, important days, books and authors days, uh, national affairs, international affairs, sports, defense, all these topics, these are highly important and questions from these particular topics are asked. Also, we cover state-wise current affairs also that will help you to prepare for your state exams. Also friends, as I told you, if you use the code VIKAS10, you will be given extra 10% discount on the purchase you make. If you have any problem regarding login and your application, then you can contact us on support at the rate of affairscloud.com this is our email id and you can contact us on our mobile phone that is 9677 hello everyone how are you all i hope you are all good so friends in this video we will be discussing important current affairs of 25th and 26th of december the session will be very interesting so do pay attention till the end friends and friends before starting those important current affairs of the day, we will discuss some important current affairs All right, for the previous month. These will be very helpful for revision perspective, so do pay attention. All right, And if you have not noted any of the information that we have, will be providing now, I will suggest you all to make notes. Let's start. In the most valuable globally 500 firms, there were 20 firms from India. First thing that you need to remember, how many firms or how many Indian firms were there in the top 500 most valuable firms globally? There were 20 firms and in those 20 firms also from India, who was, which was the firm or which was the company that was topped here? It was Reliance. Reliance Industries Limited, RIL, topped the 2022 Huron Global 500 list. Then next, recently TB control program. TB is your tuberculosis. This affects your lungs and it is a communicable disease. So recently TB control program award was given to which state? It was Meghalaya. All right. Meghalaya was awarded for their TB control program next isro isro is the space organization of india if we talk about nasa it is the space organization of usa then jaxa is the space organization of japan cnsa is the space organization of china roscosmos it is the space organization of russia then coming back, ISRO recently successfully completed the hypersonic vehicle trials. Apart from this, it was USA also that has completed and launched a jet with hypersonic speed. But what is hypersonic and what is supersonic? First of all, remember when an object is traveling at a speed of uh, sound, then we call it one Mach. That it is traveling at a speed of one Mach. Then if it is traveling more than one Mach, that it will be known as supersonic. But 
when this particular aircraft or any object is traveling more than the speed of 5 mach that will be your hypersonic get it all right moving on then forbes has recently released the list of 100 most powerful women in the world and in the list of these 100 most powerful women in the world there were three indian women that you need to remember nirmala sitaraman who is our union finance minister falguni nayar and madhavi puri buck who is the chairperson of sebi also so highly important remember these three women next international anti-corruption day on 9th of december we observe international anti-corruption day important one next next is elon musk we know elon musk is the owner of spacex tesla neuralink boring company starlink and now he has also acquired twitter but now the news are that he might step down from the post of ceo so we know that starlink is an organization that provides satellite based communication even in the remote parts of the world so similar to that there is a rival company by the name one web one web is of united kingdom and this is also a satellite based communication provider of internet so recently it was elon musk spacex that has launched 40 satellites of one web that is of united kingdom moving on to next news international fleet review 2022 where was this held bangladesh where was this held this was in held in bangladesh who hosted it this was hosted by bangladesh navy and in this particular international fleet review there were three indian ships that you need to remember that took part in this particular international fleet review they were ins kochi ins karavati and ins Sumeda. so you need to remember these three ships took part in this particular international fleet review next is your national mathematics day important day why because this day is observed in the memory of a very renowned indian mathematician and he is s ramanujan all right on his birth anniversary that is in 20 on 22nd of december we observe this national mathematics day apart from this who started this day this was observed or started by dr manmohan singh who is our former prime minister of india in 2012 he stated that from every from this year onwards that is first edition of this was observed in the year 2012 that is from 2012 onwards every year we will be observing national mathematics day on 22nd of december so first edition was observed in 2012 and apart from this also remember national mathematics year or the year of the mathematics was declared which year it was 2012 only by dr manmohan singh who was the former prime minister of india next next remember sanya mirza sanya mirza is related to what field she is related to or we can say she is related to defense now and she is a fighter pilot don't confuse it with sanya mirza who is the related to sports so recently remember sanya mirza who is from uttar pradesh she, re she recently uh, qualified for she recently cleared the nd exam that is your national defense academy's exam and now she will be the first muslim female fighter jet pilot of india i repeat sanya mirza from up will become the india's first muslim female fighter pilot next next we will be talking about griha exemplary performance award highly important friends so remember recently griha exemplary performance award 2022 was given to which building it was ui dai headquarter this headquarter has won the griha exemplary performance award and this was basically given for the green building all right for their green building that is your green headquarter or infrastructure for their green infrastructure because it is based on sustainable development goals and it is a green building award that was given to uidai headquarter building all right and it has been the winner of the griha exemplary performance award for 2022 moving on next kisan divas when do we observe this on 23rd of december important day 
नेक्स्ट न्यूक्लियर साइंटिस्ट दिनेश कुमार शुक्ला वॉज अपॉइंटेड एज द चेयरपर्सन ऑफ एटॉमिक एनर्जी रिसर्च बोर्ड सो हु विल बी द न्यू चेयरपर्सन ऑफ एटॉमिक एनर्जी रिसर्च बोर्ड दिनेश कुमार शुक्ला नेक्स्ट यूपी गवर्नमेंट एंड ऑस्टिन यूनिवर्सिटी वी नो दैट रिसेंटली देर इज अ एम ऑफ यूपी गवर्नमेंट टू अचीव वन ट्रिलियन डॉलर इकोनॉमी एंड टू अचीव दिस रिसेंटली यूपी गवर्नमेंट स्टेटेड दैट डिफरेंट डिस्ट्रिक्ट इन डिफरेंट इन डिफरेंट डिस्ट्रिक्ट इन यूपी विल बी प्रोवाइडेड विद अ स्पेसिफिक स्पोर्ट दैट दे कैन वर्क अपॉन एंड ऑल्सो अलाउ देयर स्टूडेंट्स यंगस्टर ऑफ दैट पर्टिकुलर डिस्ट्रिक्ट टू पार्टिसिपेट ऑन दोज स्पोर्ट्स अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट देर इज अ न्यूज़ रिसेंटली दैट यूपी विल बी सेटिंग अप अ स्मार्ट सिटी नॉलेज अ स्मार्ट सिटी ऑफ नॉलेज एंड दिस विल बी सेट अप बाय यूपी विद द हेल्प ऑफ ऑस्टिन यूनिवर्सिटी नेक्स्ट आई एम एस मोरमगाव दिस इज द स्टेल्थ गाइडेड मिसाइल डिस्ट्रॉयर दैट हैज बीन कमीशन इन टू द इंडियन नेवी नेक्स्ट इज योर फीफा वर्ल्ड कप वी नो दैट इट वॉज हेल्ड इन कतर एंड हु हैज वन हेयर अर्जेंटीना हैज वन हेयर हु इज द कैप्टन ऑफ अर्जेंटीना लाइनल मैसी एंड अपार्ट फ्रॉम दिस रिमेंबर दिस वॉज द थर्ड टाइम दैट अर्जेंटीना हैज वन द वर्ल्ड कप इट डिफीटेड फ्रांस इन द फाइनल्स एंड वेयर वॉज दिस हेल्ड दिस वॉज हेल्ड इन कतर नेक्स्ट एफ आई एच वीमेंस हॉकी कप और आई रिपीट एफ आई एच नेशंस कप वेयर वॉज दिस हेल्ड एफ आई एच नेशंस कप दिस वॉज हेल्ड इन स्पेन एंड हु वन दिस इट वॉज वन बाय इंडियन वीमेन हॉकी टीम एंड रिमेंबर इंडियन वीमेन हॉकी टीम डिफीटेड द स्पेन्स वीमेन हॉकी टीम इन द फाइनल इन वेलेंसिया स्पेन वेयर दिस वॉज हेल्ड एंड इंडिया हैज वन दिस एफ आई एच नेशंस कप नेक्स्ट इज टेल मी द नेम ऑफ द कंट्री दैट हैज बीन रिमूव फ्रॉम द वीमेन राइट body all right recently united nation has removed iran from the women rights body so these were your important revision current affairs friend now let's move to the today's current affairs all right those were your revision part and now is the important today's part so first of all remember recently union cabinet has approved the revision of the pension of armed force pensioners family pensioners under one rank one pension scheme all right highly important but under this news there is an important thing that you need to remember first thing remember that this one rank one pension this scheme was effective from 1st of july 2019 all right this has an uh and this has been uh, a revision has been approved all right recently prime minister narendra modi who chairs the union cabinet has recently approved the revision of the pension of the armed forces pensioners and family pensioners under this one rank one pension scheme all right and this was effective will be effective from 1st of july 2019 an annual expenditure of around 8450 crore rupees and arrears of 23638 crore rupees so this can be a good news for the central government employees also where if you remember the da was held between the time period of corona virus and remember as it is stated an estimated annual expenditure of this and this is arrears with effect from 1st of july 2019 to 30th of june 2022 this amount of arrear because da if you remember was stopped during this period all right and this amount will be provided to those pensioners and government employees there is a news and that can be a very good news for them in future that it has been approved then next is union sports minister anurag singh thakur has launched khelo india dashboard all right highly important i repeat recently khelo india dashboard this was launched where it was launched in new delhi it was launched by whom anurag singh thakur launched this particular khelo india dashboard in new delhi and this has all the statistical data related to the khelo india scheme and khelo india events where will be the khelo india youth games will now held it will be held in up uttar pradesh all right important one next next we will be talking about pv sindhu pv sindhu world's 12th highest paid female athlete in 2022 only indian and badminton player in the top 25 and this data was released by forbes i repeat recently according to forbes world highest paid female athletes in 2022 pv sindhu who is an indian badminton player record uh, ranked 
sec 12th all right the rank of pv sindhu was 12th in this particular forbes world highest paid athlete all right and she has a total earning of around 7.1 million dollar and she is the only in indian and the only badminton player among the top 25 of the list naomi osaka of japan tops the list with 51.1 million dollar and serena williams of usa is ranked second with 41.3 million dollar here you can see naomi osaka of japan sport tennis first position serena williams tennis second position and here you can see all other players also if we talk about pv sindhu she has been from which state or she is from which state hyderabad telangana and if we talk about hyderabad telangana technology hub 2.0 will be set up here she is the first and only indian to become the badminton world champion and the only second individual athlete from india to win two consecutive medals at the olympic games she won silver in 2016 and bronze in 2020 tokyo next next is ifc lends 400 million dollar to hdfc to boost green affordable housing finance ifc first of all tell me what is your ifc ifc is your international finance corporation all right this is a member of the world bank group and it has provided 400 million dollar to the housing development finance corporation limited to boost the green affordable housing finance in india all right highly important and this will be more towards sustainable development goals this will help us to create jobs and ensure a long-term business growth also this new investment would help in bringing urban housing gap and improve the access to climate smart affordable homes in india if we talk about ifc remember who is the managing director Maktar Diop. Where is the headquarter? It is in Washington, D.C. As because we know in Washington, D.C. only there is the headquarter of uh, World Bank as well as I, uh, World Bank and IMF. That is your International Monetary Fund. Then if we talk about IFC, when was this established? It was in 1944 that this was established. And as we know, which is the parent organization and because this is the arm of World Bank. All right. Next. Next is IMF, International Monetary Fund. We know, we just discussed, where is the headquarter? It is in Washington, D.C. Recently, International Monetary Fund has projected India's growth to be 6.8% for the current fiscal year. And it has projected India's growth rate for next fiscal year, that is fiscal year 24, that is from 2023 to 2024, to be 6.1% percent and for the current fiscal year that is fiscal year 23 that is from 2022 to 2023 to be 6.8 percent all right mark this important here you can see imf in the article fourth consultation report that projected india to be growing at 6.8 percent in the current fiscal year and falling to 6.1 in the next fiscal year also imf called for the future further structural changes including addressing the adverse impact of climate change and to secure strong and sustainable growth all right important next next is indian scientist professor thalalpil pradeep has received the win future special prize for 2020 I repeat, if we are talking about the Win Future Special Prize for 2022, this award was presented in Hanoi, in Vietnam. All right, and this was presented to, or this was given, or this was award was awarded to an Indian scientist from IIT Madras in Chennai, Tamil Nadu. Highly important, and the professor is, as you can see him in the picture, Professor Thalalpil. Pradeep. He received the special prize for the innovators from developing countries for developing a low cost filtration process to remove arsenic and other heavy elements from the ground water. And that is the reason he was awarded this with Win Future Prize. Apart from this, remember, he has also been awarded with Padma Shri in 2020 for his work in developing affordable 
and safe drinking water solutions in India. Highly important. Apart from this, he was awarded with the 25th edition of the Nikkei Asia Prize for 2020 also. So important question, important scientist and multiple questions can be asked from this particular news. One more thing remember, this prize was established on 20 December 2020, International Solidarity Day. All right, on that day, this was awarded. Then next, remember, this Win Future Prize marks the second season of the award. Win Future Grand Prize for 2020 was given to five people. All right, and remember, in addition, a grand prize of 500,000 each have been granted to the innovators in the emerging field. Moving on, here you can read about this. Next is UIDI has got the DSCI Excellence Award for the Best Security Practices in the Government Sector. I repeat, UIDI headquarters was also awarded for the Sustainable Development Goal or for the Green Building. And now UIDI has got the DSCI that is your Data Security Council of India's Excellence Award 2022 under the Best Security Practices in the Government Sector. Highly important. Mark this also. If we talk about this DSCI award, remember out of 270 nominations were registered across five categories and these five categories or the award was presented under these five categories and special jury recognition was given. The, all right. Highly important. Next, Sudeep Sen and Shobhana Kumar. I repeat, Sudeep Sen and Shobhana Kumar has won the Rabindranath Tagore Literacy Prize for a literary prize for 21-22. I repeat, Sudeep Sen and Shobhana Kumar. They both have won the Rabindranath Tagore Literary Prize for 21-22. All right, important. Question can be asked. So, take a note of this. Next, cyclist Swasti Singh has got the 30th A-Klabbe Puraskar. I repeat, who got the 30th A-Klabbe Puraskar? She is Swasti Singh. She is related to which sport? She is related to cycling or she is a cyclist. Alright, this award is annually given to encourage young sports talent in India. On 23rd of December, Swasti Singh was presented with a citation trophy and 5 lakh rupees cash in program recognized by the Indian Metals Public Charitable Trust. Next, next, Professor K.S. Rangappa. Remember, Professor K.S. Rangappa is the Vice Chancellor of the University of Mysore and recently he has been awarded a Fellowship of the World Academy of Sciences. Alright, he has been awarded the Fellowship of the World Academy of Sciences that is a program unit of the UNESCO. Alright, this is this World Academy of Science. Its headquarters is in Trisset, Italy and it is for the advancement of science in developing countries. So remember, Professor K.S. Rangappa has been awarded the fellowship of the UNESCO's TWAS. This fellowship comes into effect from 1st of January 2023 and Professor Rangappa being the fellow can nominate young scientists from the state universities for getting research grants. He is listed among the top 2% of the world scientists since 2000. 19. All right, important. Next. Next is TWAS. When was this established? 1938 by a distinguished group of scientists from the developing world with an objective of encouraging scientific research in solving major challenges facing developing countries. All right. Apart from this, remember, TWS initially had 42 elected fellows and nine of them Nobel laureates. Presently, it has around 1,296 elected fellows representing more than 100 countries and 11 of them are Nobel laureates. Who is the president? Mohammed H. A. Hassan from Sudan. Secretary General is Louis David Watch from Brazil. Headquarters is in Trisit, Italy and it was established in 1985. It was officially inaugurated here and it was established in 1983. Next, PN Vasudevan will continue be, to be as the Managing Director and Chief Executive Officer of Equita Small Finance Bank. Alright, highly important. So remember, the board of the Equita Small Finance Bank has decided to extend the term of the PN Vasudevan as the Managing Director and Chief Executive Officer. And for how much time period? For a period of three years. This will be fact from 23rd of July to sub, from subject to approval from the Reserve Bank of India. 
नेक्स्ट इज सितिवेनी रबुका हैज रिटर्न एज द न्यू प्राइम मिनिस्टर ऑफ फिजी एंड द ट्वेल्थ प्राइम मिनिस्टर ऑफ फिजी नेक्स्ट इंडियन अमेरिकन रिचर्ड वर्मा हैज बीन नॉमिनेटेड एज द टॉप डिप्लोमेटिक पोजिशन रिमेंबर जो बाइडन हु इज द प्रेजिडेंट ऑफ यूनाइटेड स्टेट्स ऑफ अमेरिका हैज नॉमिनेटेड इंडियन अमेरिकन लॉयर डिप्लोमैट रिचर्ड वर्मा टू बी द न्यू डेप्टी सेक्रेटरी ऑफ द स्टेट फॉर द मैनेजमेंट एंड रिसोर्सेज रिचर्ड वर्मा इज करंटली द चीफ लीगल ऑफिसर एंड हेड ऑफ द ग्लोबल पब्लिक पॉलिसिटी एट मास्टर कार्ड प्रायर टू हिज टॉप डिप्लोमेटिक पोजिशन इन द स्टेट डिपार्टमेंट ही सर्व एज द फॉर्मर यू एस एम्बेसडर टू इंडिया फ्रॉम सिक्सटीन जनवरी टू थाउजेंड फिफ्टीन टू ट्वेंटी एथ ऑफ जनवरी टू थाउजेंड सेवेंटीन All right so remember Richard Verma has been nominated to the top diplomatic position by Joe Biden who is the president of USA Next next is JNCASR first of all remember what is this JNCASR it is your Jawaharlal Nehru Center of uh, Center for Advanced Scientific Research so Jawaharlal Nehru Center for Advanced Scientific Research that is in Bangalore Karnataka their researchers have shown for the first time infrared light emission and absorption with GAN that is the new artificial nanostructures for infrared absorption i repeat researchers of the jawaharlal nehru center for advanced scientific research that is in bangalore karnataka has recently shown for the first time the infrared light emission and absorption with the gan that is the new artificial nanotech uh, nanostructure for infrared absorption technologies this will be very beneficial in the uh, defense sector imaging and sensing and the research for this has been published in the prestigious journal of the nano letters all right then remember this jawaharlal nehru center for advanced studies it is an autonomous institute of the department of science and technology bangalore karnataka this new method helps in the development of highly efficient infrared absorbers emitters and modulators for use in the defense technology next next is isro isro to carry the us instruments on board the forthcoming chandrayaan 3 mission important take care of this that it will be isro that will be taking care of the us instrument that will be on board for the chandrayaan 3 mission so isro forthcoming chandrayaan 3 mission will carry scientific instrument of the usa in the last 5 years india has signed four cooperative agreements to collaborate on the space exploration next is george cohen remember george cohen is related to football and he was a 1966 world cup winner of from england and he has recently passed away next is national consumers day on 24th of december we observe national consumers day next next remember manipur's chief minister n biren singh has launched upgraded ilp system portal what is this ilp it is your inner line permit system portal for saving indigenous population of manipur remember it was the chief minister of manipur n biren singh who has launched this new upgraded version of the ilp portal that is your inner line permit system portal this portal marks makes it convenient for the visitors from outside manipur to apply for ilp this portal has been launched with a new development added to the earlier ilp system so these were your all current affairs friend now let's go for a quick revision Union cabinet has recently approved the revision of the pension of armed forces pensioner family pensioners under OR that is one rank one pension scheme Union sports minister Anurag Singh Thakur launched Khelo India dashboard then PV Sindhu is the world's 12th highest paid female athlete in 2022 IFC has lent 400 million dollar to HDFC to boost the green affordable housing finance IMF projected 6.8% growth in the current fiscal for India. Indian scientist Professor Thalal Pil Pradeep has been has received the Win Future Special Prize for 2022. Then UIDI has got the DSCI Excellence Award for Best Security Practices in Government Sector. Sudeep Sen and Shobana Kumar has won the Rabindranath Tagore Literary Prize for 2122. Cyclist Swasti Singh has got the 30th Ekalbe Puraskar. Professor K S Rangappa has been elected as the fellow of the UNESCO TWAS. P N Vasudevan to continue as the managing director and chief executive officer of Equita Small Finance Bank. Sitveni Rabuka has returned as the new prime minister of Fiji. 
इंडियन अमेरिकन रिचर्ड वर्मा नॉमिनेटेड टू टॉप डिप्लोमेटिक पोजिशन जे एन सी एस आर है रिसर्चर्स है शोन द फर्स्ट टाइम आई आर लाइट एमिशन एंड एब्जॉर्बन विद जी ए एन अ न्यू आर्टिफिशियल नैनो स्ट्रक्चर इसरो टू कैरी यू एस इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स ऑन बोर्ड ऑन देयर फोर्थ कमिंग चंद्रयान थ्री मिशन इंग्लैंड नाइनटीन सिक्सटी सिक्स वर्ल्ड कप विनर कोहन जॉर्ज कोहन हैज पास अवे नेशनल कंज्यूमर डे ऑन ट्वेंटी फोर्थ ऑफ दिसंबर एंड मणिपुर चीफ मिनिस्टर एन बीरेन सिंह हैज लॉन्च द न्यू अपग्रेडेड इनर परमिट इनर लाइन परमिट फॉर सिस्टम पोर्टल ऑल राइट हाईली इंपॉर्टेंट इट वॉज लॉन्च बाई मणिपुर चीफ मिनिस्टर एंड दिस इज द अपग्रेडेड वर्जन ऑफ दिस पोर्टल सो दैट्स ऑल फॉर द डिफरेंस नाउ इट्स टाइम फॉर योर होमवर्क इन कोवैक विच वॉज अप्रूव एज एन इंटरनल बूस्टर डोज फॉर कोविड इज मैनुफैक्चर बाय विच इंस्टीट्यूशन विच इंस्टीट्यूशन वन द डी एस सी आई ए आई एस एस अवार्ड फॉर द बेस्ट सिक्योरिटी प्रैक्टिस इन गवर्नमेंट सेक्टर इंटरनेशनल फाइनेंस कॉरपोरेशन हैज एक्सटेंडेड फोर हंड्रेड मिलियन डॉलर लोन टू विच कंपनी इन इंडिया वी जस्ट डिस्कस दिस नेक्स्ट हु हैज बीन नेम्ड एज द कैप्टन ऑफ द इंडियन स्क्वाड फॉर द एफ आई एच मैं हॉकी वर्ल्ड कप नेक्स्ट विच कंट्री सप्लाइज एस फोर हंड्रेड एयर डिफेंस मिसाइल सिस्टम टू इंडिया सो दीज आर योर फाइव होमवर्क क्वेश्चन फ्रेंड्स आई होप यू अंडरस्टूड द असाइनमेंट इफ यू रिम एंड सी टेक अ नोट ऑफ इट इफ यू फाइंड द सेशन टू बी इंटरेस्टिंग लाइक द वीडियो एंड ऑल्सो कमेंट बिलो एंड लेट एस नो वॉट आर योर व्यूज ऑन सच सेशन दैट वी आर डूइंग इफ यू वॉन्ट अस टू कंटिन्यू विद सच सेशन ऑल यू हैव टू डू इज कमेंट बिलो ऑल्सो फ्रेंड्स यू कैन फाइंड आर अदर सेशन ऑफ करंट अफेयर्स बस जस्ट बाय going to youtube and searching current affairs by vikas rana and you will be able to see all the videos that i have been making so that's all for the day thank you and have a nice day that's all for the day friends i hope you enjoyed the session and you can follow us on the youtube channel as well as apart from youtube channel you can go and follow us at affairs cloud telegram channel and if you have any queries related to the content or the of courses offered to you or the payment which you did on the application you can contact us on the number provided that is 7677333862 apart from this friends you can follow us on the facebook as well as on instagram handle that is affairs cloud underscore official in the end friends if you use a code that is vikas10 you will be getting an additional extra 10% discount by using this code vikas10 also if you have any problem regarding the course purchase any problem regarding to our application you can contact us on the mobile number that is 9677333862 and if you want to mail us you can also mail us on support@affairscloud.com and i assure you that our representative from us will be contacting you soon and resolving your issue